things evolve when you work on a, on a film and you have ideas and you kind of f follow them. I, one, one thing I learned was to follow every idea you had, track it down <clears throat> and see why you had that dream or what was, don't discard ideas, develop them. And with Ornette, it was just an idea. I remembered a recording. I mean, I was working on Naked Lunch and I went through all of Burroughs' work trying to find musical references in the work. And there actually wasn't very many. And I was trying to create, I knew I would want to create the, the world of inner zone in, in the film. And I remembered a recording that Ornette did. Uh, it was from the 60s. It was called Midnight Sunrise. And it was a collaboration with Arnett and the master musicians of Shizuka. It's one of the oldest orchestras in the world. It's over 400 years old. It's a Moroccan orchestra, and they live in the Reef Mountains, the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. And he journeyed there and did a recording with them, a remote recording uh, with Robert Palmer, actually. And, and I thought, that's interesting. That's a great jazz artist like Burroughs recording with a Moroccan orchestra, because a lot of Naked Lunch refers to North Africa and Tangier. And I played that for David, and he said, that's inner zone, that sound. And it's a wild sound. I mean, it's an African orchestra. I mean, they play rietas and ney flutes, and it's a Berber tribe. They play uh, a, a percussion dr drumming, and it's a very wild, uh, very expressive type of music. And um, so I thought, I, I'll, maybe I'll give Arnett a call. I knew him because uh, from Saturday Night Live, I had, put, I had occasionally had the chance to put different artists on the program. And I had booked Arnett Coleman because I was just a fan. And so I knew Arnett. I called him. He was in Copenhagen. And he said he was interested. And I met him in London. And I, we had more talks about it. And, um, and then I cr built a little trio with him. Um, with his son, Donardo Coleman, and a, a French uh, bassist named Barr Phillips. And uh, we, uh, we set to work. The piece was written for the London Philharmonic and, and Ornette. Well, I wrote a piece as if I was writing the score. You know, I wrote a symphonic score for it and then added Ornette to it. I mean, it, I wrote it for him. And the piece is, I, I, I did one technique with him that I thought was interesting in that I had him in the studio with earphones, but he was playing live with the orchestra. And I had his, Donardo was in a booth, a soundproof booth, and the mu some of the music, and actually quite a bit of it, was written in these very slow tangos to evoke, you know, the, the sort of the colonial aspect of, uh, of Morocco and Tangier. And it had these slow, uh, tempos that the orchestra would play and Donardo would be playing double and triple time on the drums uh, very fast and I'd give this to Arnett and he would of course play to Donardo because he'd hear his son playing these rhythms and so he'd play these beautiful Charlie Parker uh, type bebop uh, phrases over the slow moving or orchestration and because he's a great jazz artist, he would play w into the orchestra. He would find sections of the orchestra and he'd play into them and relate to them. Because, you know, jazz musicians play against each other. They play with and against each other. And it's this constant flow of ideas that are going on. So he would kind of work with the orchestra in that way. So it was a very, um, it was a wonderfully uh, creative session. I was conducting it and, Ornette was feeling, you know, great playing with a symph symphony orchestra in that way. So the, the results, I think, you, you know, as you know, they're very, uh, have a lot of freedom to them. And I think, I hope that they captured the, you know, the essence of, uh, you know, Burroughs' world, Naked Lunch.